the COVID-19 pandemic hit local motorsports hard, especially organizers and participants of motorsports events. This edition of Race Weekend takes a look at how one of the country's top organizers of motorsports series and events, Tuasan Racing, coped with the pandemic. The year 2020 was supposed to be a great year for local motorsports. The previous year saw a proliferation of grassroots racing events. More events, local and regional, for racers looking to level up beyond grassroots racing. A growing fan base. More participants and spectators. More major and minor sponsorships. It was a year that Tuasan Racing, the leading motorsports organizer taking local motorsports past the grassroots level, saw as a celebration towards greater things. But then, the COVID-19 pandemic reached local shores. Last year was, uh, was a big surprise for everybody. We were planning a really big year in terms of motorsports because of our uh, 21st year anniversary. And, and then all of a sudden we were in lockdown, just like uh, everybody else found themselves stuck at home. Back then, few predicted the lockdown would last long. Just two weeks of Netflix, a few days of binging on K-drama, and it's back to business. But as quarantine restrictions continue to be extended, Tuasan Racing decided to try their hand at organizing an e-motorsports event. It was something that they've been thinking about anyway, even before the pandemic hit. And it was also an opportunity to help out frontliners. We started to put into action our idea of running virtual races. Our first foray into online esports last year was called Race for Frontliners, and the uh, platform was PS4. We had over 280 players in that series, and we had over 400,000 views, and we had over 400,000 pesos raised, which we donated to Frontliners for both PPE and food supplies. The race for Frontliners started with around 100 participants. But the numbers grew exponentially, and Watson Racing believed they discovered something that could help with the main vision of growing the fan base for motorsports and providing venues for racers to develop their talents. I think we found that in the beginning, it was difficult to reach out to the, uh, the players. We would have you know, over 100 players every weekend come in and participate. But we found that as the weekends were going, we were starting to gain traction. It was getting bigger and bigger every race weekend, not only with the players, but also the viewers. So we knew that we were on to something uh, good last year. Tuasan Racing also discovered that the e-racing series was a good father for creating content that interested motorsports enthusiasts and could be viewed on Facebook and other social media platforms. I think the key to uh, our success last year was not just organizing the races, but to turn that content into a kind of like a TV show, which we had on Facebook. So we had a Facebook page, which had about 130,000 followers. And then when we put those online races as content on our Facebook page, we found that we would have hundreds of thousands of viewers. And it kind of just grew and grew and grew. The second series organized by Tuasan Racing confirmed these discoveries. We moved into our second series last year, which we called the Formula V1 Virtual Cup, which was sponsored by Phoenix. And it was great because we basically turned our physical races into an online platform using very similar cars. And we even used the Clark Speedway in the uh, series. So we had over 300 players. We had over half a million views and it was great fun for not only us but also the players. Tuasan Racing held its online races much like the physical races which it believed made it more fun and real for participants. And the beauty of this for us is um, by having these people come into um, e-racing, e-sports, it grows the motorsports fan base which has always been our goal to get more enthusiasts out there and what we did is we took the experience that we had in organizing physical races and used this in the virtual world. So we had virtual drivers briefings, we had stewards watching the races, we were giving out penalties, we had bulletins for the drivers. And uh, I think the um, participants appreciated uh, the professionalism in terms of how it was organized. 
Boston Racing is now making e-motorsports events a major part of its program for 2021, which also includes finally resuming physical races. What we wanted to do this year is we want to marry what we learned last year and um, integrate that into our plans for 2021. So we're going to be running our uh, virtual races at the beginning of the year, starting in May. And we're going to be doing um, activities this year with uh, Toyota. We're going to be doing activities this year with Phoenix. And as uh, the year progresses, we're going to be moving towards um, physical activities where um, uh, track-based races can actually happen. So in the second half of the year, we're going to be running a lot of these physical races and um, we're going to be taking the physical events that we do and turning that into content and bringing that to the uh, motorsports enthusiasts that can't make it out to the track because again of um, all the safety protocols. And hopefully by taking this content to them online, we can again grow the motorsports fan base in the Philippines. Already, Tuasan Racing is busy preparing for the holding of the 2021 Formula V1 Virtual Cup with plans to hold an Asian Virtual Cup, an invitational e-racing event participated in by teams from Japan, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. Also envisioned is a Formula V1 Nations Cup where the best of the Philippine e-racers can battle against teams from all over the region. Tuasan Racing is also planning to hold on-track races, the Formula V1 Challenge. We're going to be concentrating on uh, racing this year at the Clark Circuit. So we're going to be doing three weekends of racing for Formula V1 at Clark. And I think it's very important for us to just kind of stay put because logistically that, that's where it can become a bit dangerous. So by having all the equipment just in one place, running multiple races on a single race weekend and keeping the number of weekends to a minimum. So we're only running this year three weekends of Formula V1. Does Tuasan Racing believe it can safely hold physical races this year? We hope this year that things will change though because we're very optimistic. You know, motorsports has already started up in uh, Thailand, in uh, Malaysia, in uh, Japan. They've always been racing, even last year. And I think the Philippines will follow suit. You know, it's not yet over, but people are already starting to get vaccinated. I think if the proper protocols are put in place, motorsports can be done because very simply, we don't have a lot of people being together, right? It's not a physical sport in terms of people being close together, motorsports. So, so long as it's uh, organized well and the protocols are in place, I think we can, uh, we can run motorsports events very safely. It is to J.P. Tuason and his team's credit that they look to come out stronger from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, branching out into esports and all the while continuing with preparations to resume on-track racing as quarantine restrictions ease. 